not, uh, we believe in the next man up. And as long as we believe that and that next man up is getting the reps and we feel good about it and uh, he's doing everything he could to help us win, then, I mean, we can't do nothing but continue to move forward. When you deal with a back issue, something that kind of goes up in your spine, how does that affect you as a receiver in terms of being able to play on a play-to-play -play basis? Uh, I mean, I couldn't answer it, but I know if it was me, it's hard to play because without your lower back or your, your, your glutes, I mean, you really can't do anything. You're very limited. You know, but at the same time, that's uh, something you got to ask Chase. But hopefully he can come and play, you know, and um, and if he can't, uh, I'm not going to look at it like more stress on my shoulders. Like I said, we're a well-coached team. Uh, our coach is going to do a great job of still uh, allowing Joe to make the plays that he had always been making. You know, you can kind of put any guy out there with Joe as long as they do the, 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 the things right that they had to do, the details, the, the depth in yards, and just winning man coverage. I mean, you could plug any guy in with Joe. Tyler, last week or last year, you guys lost the first game without Jamar. Then you won the three, the, le the next three. How important is it to have gone through something like this already when you haven't had Jamar? Yeah, hell yeah. Don't don't get me wrong. Chase is probably one of the biggest, uh, if not probably one of the best players on our offense. You know him and Joe, and uh, that's a given. You know, not having him is, is, you know, might limit us. But at the same time, man, we we got a lot of great players. You know, we just got to step up and make play. That's what it's going to come down to. If we all execute those guys just two or one more play than th th those guys, then, I mean, we'll win. We won't care how ugly it is, how close it is, as long as we find a way to, 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 to get the job done. You mentioned the idea of being able to kind of plug different guys in and, and, and not change a whole lot of things. Why is it that you all are able to do that as an offense, be such a, like, like as a receiving core, be such a plug-and-play unit with different guys? Uh, the first thing, I think, with me, I think at T and, and Chase, and especially me, you know, I make guys comfortable. You know, I bring the camaraderie, man. I make guys want to be here. You know, I make those guys believe, you know, even not saying that they already don't believe, but, like, I just do a great job of uplifting guys, you know, and making them feel like they always been a part of something that we already started to build, you know, and um, just able to do that and just trusting guys, man. It's just, it's it's, it's really not too, too, too hard to do, you know. And then when you got a quarterback like Joe that can, put the ball exactly where the defenders can't place it. I mean, as long as you got guys that can go in there and catch it and, make, and, and beat man coverage, we're good. Do you have a favorite throw on Sunday? Oh, go ahead. Um, I know you probably don't pay much attention to it, but Burroughs' odds to win the MVP like have skyrocketed in the last week. I think right now he's selected like as the fifth highest player to win the MVP. Do you think? way he's playing right now, do you think he has a legitimate shot to be the MVP? Yeah, absolutely. I'm pretty sure you can ask anybody around the world that question. They'll say they'll agree with you, and I absolutely do. You know, they've been playing lights out. You know, just like I said, man, we got Chase down. I believe uh, Dre could come in and we could still win games. You know, that's just how good Joe is. You know, he know how to uh, exploit different coverages. He know how to beat man. He know how to put the ball. I mean, it's just... You make everybody's job easier when you got a guy like that on your team, you know. But at the end of the day, we still got a job to do ourselves. You know, we still got to go out there and be in the right places where Joe expects us. And we got a great receivers coach, Troy, that's in there, uh, game planning us up, telling us everything we need to do for Joe to uh, connect with with with, with, that, with any ball. Who's the best that you've seen him play? Who, Joe? Oh, uh, uh, nah. I mean, this is this, that's the Joe I'm used to seeing now at this point, you know. Uh, once he get rolling, and that that first game when we start to get it rolling, and he start getting better and better, that's when I'm like, yeah, the real Joe is back. You know, I didn't even look at it like, oh yeah, he's on a whole nother level. He's that's just he where he back to where he been, you know, on that Super Bowl run, the last two years we had, you know. So I mean, as long as he stay healthy and, and guys make plays for him, he's gonna always be one of the most, well, if not the best quarterback in the league. So you said he wasn't worried about this game against Houston being a potential trap game with y'all getting Baltimore in a short week. I mean, how do you how do y'all make sure that y'all don't get sucked into overlooking Houston, knowing how big of a game they're gonna have in week eleven? Yeah, I mean, I don't know why guys is even saying that because Houston isn't a bad team at all. You can watch them on tape; they play hard. They got the young quarterback. He's a, he's a great talent. You know, his numbers is crazy too. You can kind of probably talk to him about the MVP as well. You know. So, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I already looked at it. Like, when we was losing, either way, you, any team in this league can beat you. You know, I mean, just because the record doesn't live up to the hype, I don't mean you can't lose any given week. You know, so I think our players and all of us around here does a great job of not taking anything for granted and going out there and, and playing every game like it's a Super Bowl, like it's a meaningful game to us. So we're going to go out there and try to get a win. 
you all have, you know, taken that seriousness to all these games and, and enabled you all to kind of build these streaks? Yeah, it's huge, you know, because we got the right guys, man. It's, it's, it's all about the camaraderie and, 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 the, and the guys and unselfishness. And I'm going to continue to preach on that because without the key guys and guys that's willing to do whatever it takes to, to get the job done, I mean, you really don't never, you don't got that in the back of your mind of like settling, you know, and guys not going to uh, let up because they don't believe that this team could do that or the defense might think we should score every time and we don't and they go out there and don't play good defensively, you know. So regardless, we're going out there to kill. Does the show ever make it from TV, either at the time it happens or when you watch it the next day on film, that you go, wow? Yeah, he got a shit ton of those throws, you know, man. But the one throw that he should have protected, he should have scored with Chase, man. He kind of got Chase banged up on that. He know he should have let him in the end zone. But other than that, all he do is throw dots and dimes. What so, strikes you about the conference? The big three wide receivers universally considered to be among the best three in the league. What about four, five, and six? Like Trenton, Andre, Charlie Jones at the back. How do those guys compare with four, five, and six around the league? Yeah, man, that's, I think that's, uh, the threshold isn't at three, you know, just because you got the three top receivers on the field at once, you 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 need guys that can come in and, and, and play at your ability, you know, if something happened, you know, and then that's on us because they're watching how we do it. And me as a leader, you know, I'll try to make sure uh, Chuck Sizzle know everything he needs to know because he, he's my backup, he's the F, you know, so um, if anything that I feel like he'll not remember now, I'll make sure to get to tell him, you know, the more... Uh, confident and ready they are, I, I feel even better about myself, you know, because it, it might be plays where I might want that play, but I might be tired, but I can also count on those guys to come in and get the job done when I'm trying to get my rest. So, I mean, as long as they play well, then, I mean, it, we're, we're cool. Joe said this 